One of my jobs as um, not only the branch manager, as the adult team librarian, is to come up with different programs. And what I try to do is come up with different programs that fit the community that I work in. Um, so, you know, they have a lot of programs that's down the central branch, but a lot of people from these communities don't travel down central to enjoy their programs. I've always been a big, big fan of, of dancing, especially the Bop and Cha Cha. Just watching my parents and my uncles and my aunts. Ironically, as good as my mother and father can Bop and Cha Cha, I never asked them to teach me how to, uh, how to do it. And, you know, I didn't grow up too far from the branch where I work at, so it just it was big on creating programs for the neighborhood where I ran up and down the street, and, you know, and create some type of programs for the people of that community. I never learned how to social dance because uh, I was always teased about my hand down clothes, you know, so that kind of made me shy away. I always wanted to dance. Year after year, I said I was going to learn. And finally, I saw Mr. Marlon, which I really appreciate that what he has done because I said, hey, this is probably my last chance, you know. Dancing was a way of life for us growing up. The favorite dances when we were coming up was the bop, the cha-cha, the shimmy, and the ballroom. And when you could do those dances and do them well, you could pretty much go anywhere in pretty much any neighborhood. You knew guys from West Philly, you knew guys from South Philly, you knew guys from North Philly. You knew, knew them by the way they danced and by the way they wore their hats. It keeps you moving. When you get my age and it's good Well, I enjoyed it. Um, just coming and watching the other people dance and to get out there and do the work. So we always had a lot of people in our house, and we had a record player, and we just danced, danced, danced. I love to dance, and I love this class. When I was still going to high school sometime, I will go to dance. Um, to like parties with my friends, but not too often because my parents are very strict. Somehow dancing made me feel so alive and so happy. Always wanted to be a better dancer. Uh, coming up, it was peer pressure. Everybody went to the party. Fortunately, they had enough novelty dances going on where if you really weren't good at the bop and cha cha, you could do the Philly dog. You could do some stuff and you could always wait till the red and the blue lights came on and you could do a slow drag. <laughs> so you stayed in the game, but I wasn't really in the game. I watched some of my friends who were really good at this stuff and they were like the social pecking order of you were a good dancer, the lady seemed to like you a lot better and things just fell in place for you. And I always wanted to be one of those guys. So uh, a little late in the game, but I'm still <laughs> <laughs> And I have a very different story. Um, I was someone of a bookworm, and so I never really got out. But my sisters, who are Stan's age, um, were great boppers and dancers. And so at some point in time, I said, you know, I need to be more like them. And so I moved away from the area, came back. And then when we got married 10 years ago, I, I thought about taking dance lessons, but then I decided that that would be too much stress planning a wedding and doing dance lessons. But I was always committed to figuring out how I could dance. Uh, when I found out about this program, I was like, yes, I definitely want to learn how to do Bob. Four, five, six, good. I wasn't into uh, uh, dancing until late in life. I was going to uh, Bach at lunchtime period. They would have a dance uh, session in the gym. And for some reason, I would find a, a reason to uh, be somewhere else during that time. And it was like I uh, understood people from other uh, schools would even come to Bach just for the dancing. Uh, it gives me a, a lot of exercise. Yeah, I enjoy that. Uh, I can try some, some things out on some of the newer people that I uh, might be a little reluctant to try out on people that are more advanced, you know. So I learned how to bop, cha-cha, from my parents. 
I in turn taught my children, I had two boys. I chose to teach them as a way to preserve our history and culture. It has so many benefits, um, health-wise, cardiovascular, toning. Um, it's my form of exercise. The biggest takeaway is that the dance itself is being taught to people who are older, middle age, and teens, and that it becomes a place where we can communicate and learn a different language um, and learn more about ourselves.